Okay. Hello. Hi. Welcome to fall fishing. The agenda is just catch a hog. Okay, a little report. I have not captured a bass yet, which is totally fine. It's time to get on the board. Time to get the skunk out of the boat. Okay, uh, update two hours later, still have not caught one bass. Um, the goal now is not to smash a hog, it's just to catch a bass. And sometimes the day turns into that. So just make it personal for what it is. And I, I just, I'm ready to hook a bass. And the first one that bites them, I'm gonna send them to Mars. I don't know where the hell the fish are. I actually have no idea. I have no clue. I just got spanked um, two days in a row. I have i don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm just making the wrong decisions or you know, not following seasonal patterns or the weather or not listening to my electronics enough or not going shallow enough. I'm really in a confused spot and it's just, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea, you know? And sometimes fishing is like that. It's just tough. It's freaking tough as nails. And I kind of tried two little sleeper lakes, low density lakes, they don't have a ton of bass in them, but you know, big bass. And I just got spanked twice. So tomorrow I'm out for absolute blood. Like I'm, I'm so freaking mad at them. I'm gonna get on the lake before dark and I will not leave that lake until I spank them. I will not, so. I'm mad. I'm really freaking mad at him. Unbelievable. 49 degrees this morning. That is awesome. We're just coming off a heat wave of like all 90s and windy the past week. <laughs> it is 49 degrees this morning. It's truly our first day of late summer fall fishing. Let's get them. What do you think? Are we rolling? Check, check, mic check. Hello? All right. Just saw some fish. I don't know if they'll bite. I don't know what they are. I got this big old fat crankbait in my hand, so we'll just. Oh, I'd love to get them on a big old crank. Got a nice light breeze today. Fish on. It was cool. Nice bass. First bite of the day. No give up. Nice bass. Nice healthy bass. There we go. Boom. Number one on a tiny little jig. I lay him just for fun. Nice bass. Beautiful bass. Bite number one feels good. We're on the board. Just a tiny little football head jig. See you, buddy. Eat the scary. There we go. Yeah, baby, on the hair jig. Stroked. It's a nice one. Get up in here. Yeah, baby. Yeah. It's a long one. If that one had a bigger gut, that'd be a freaking hog. He's got a big old dome on him. Yeah. Past two days, I just got spanked. Lake change, weather change. I'm gonna beat the freaking out of these bass today. Oh, I'm charged up. I've got my butt kicked so hard. Yes, we'll get him back. Beautiful long son of a gun. <sighs> if you've gone a long time throughout the day and haven't got a bite, or if the last time you were out fishing, you completely got spanked, 
that first nice bite, you're just, I'm amped. I'm tingling from the top of my head down to my toes. I'm not kidding. I'm fired freaking up, dude. Do it again. There we go. Air jig again. Yes! Oh, it feels good. He's going that direction. Get up in here. Another nice one. Not as big as the others. But another nice one. Oh, see you, buddy. Get you right back. Let's go again. That was back to back on the hair. Back to back. Keep doing it. There's a lot of different ways you can work a hair jig. I'm no, by no means an expert. Uh, what I do is I throw it out there. I let it go all the way to the bottom, especially if there's not a ton of weeds out there. And sometimes I'll crawl it, kill it, crawl it, kill it. Or sometimes I'll just crawl it and just reel super slow. You don't have to be a genius to work one of these things right. My buddy Ryan makes all my hair jigs. It's got a good hook in it. And it doesn't work all the time. But when they start eating it, it can get disgusting. All right, my freaking secret weapon, here we go. Bronco bug, baby. Bronco bug, baby. Not a big one, but choked it, absolutely choked it. Kept knocking me forward, just quack, quack, quack. Bronco bug and a big rock jig. There we go. Get up here. Stroke there, jig. Good one. Feels good, dude. There's just such a sick, like, little thunk when they stroke it. Very healthy looking bass. See you, buddy. There we go. Nice fish. Nice fish on the hair. Nice fish on the hair. I should have just swung them. After just getting my butt kicked for I don't know how many days. <sighs> it feels so good. It's a beauty. Such a clean fish. Healthy. <sighs> oh. Especially if the water's starting to kind of clean up as we transition into fall. The freaking hair jig has such drawing power. Bluegill color, white. If they can see it, it just draws them in. And then, you know, if you're bringing it over the structure the right way or bringing it past their face the right way, they just, they cannot resist. They have to eat it. They're just freaky for it. Ooh. I got this stupid addiction that like when I catch one, I instantly want to tie something else on and whip it out there like almost like i don't know can will they bite on this if they, they just bit on that like you should probably throw that again right no 
I don't know why. It's a condition. All right, new spot, kind of a small little hump that comes out from the shoreline. It's got a little rocks on it, looks clean. This side of the lake looks a little bit dirtier, so might play with colors a little bit. Um, but yeah, I might start out with the hair, then go to the crank, and then throw that Bronco bug out there. And then if that's no good, maybe I'll change angles on it and then slow down. We'll see. If, if they're munching the hair over there, I don't know why they wouldn't munch the hair here. Let's get them. Fish. Fish. Fish on the crank. Can't tell if it's good or not. Cannot tell. Getting better. Getting better. Hard to tell. TT14. Oh! Nice one. There you go. Nice one. Oh, yeah, actually, pretty dang nice one. That's how you want them to eat it. <laughs> Freaking beauty. Beauty. Starting to get some tummy on them. starting to get weight on them. I love it. Especially in September and as we get closer to fall, they always got friends. There ain't no way it's just him out there. He definitely has friends. There you go, fish on, nice fish. Get up here, buddy. Nice bass on the swim jig. Oh. I moved shallow. I'm only in like a foot and a half of water now. We'll all-terrain tackle. Bluegill swim jig. I think I was keying in a lot deeper than I needed to be. These fish are shallow. Oh, I got one way back in by that tree. Get in here, buddy! There's one. Get out of there. Get out of there. Nice. They are up on these trees. This is so sick. Oh my god, this is only gonna get better. Trees with literally there's about six inches of water on these trees and these bass are on them. Got 
Oh, they smokes it hard. Oh, I got one by this dock. Get out of there. You wrapped in it? Oh, too nice one. Get out of that dock. There we go. Oh, it is a pretty nice one. God, these fish are strong right now. That was a nice one. That is a nice one. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. All the docks are probably loaded with big billies. Get out of there. They're freaking biting around, boys. On the docks, on the wood, on the rocks. <laughs> this feels like a nice September day. They're eating that swim jig. They honestly don't want it sitting. They want it swam. Swim jig is such a freaking player in the fall. I'd almost bet a million dollars he's got a buddy out there, no doubt. Man, look at that. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful September evening. I'll show you really quick. You guys saw, caught fish on a variety of stuff today. A um, couple big bites on the DT-14. The hair jig obviously played some nice big bites on that. Um, Crush shitty bronco bug with a rock jig. This is a big player today. Caught quite a few fish just in general and a couple nice bites. Um, little finesse jig wasn't bad. Didn't do any flipping. Swim jig was a player by the docks, by the wood. Um, didn't get anything on that big perch swim bait. A couple little bites on the drop shot. Nothing too much on the jig worm or the Ned rig. Uh, I'll show you really quick. Started playing with this as my trailer. Got a nice orange back. I think the color is called Bama Craw. This is a cleanup craw. Nice craw bait. Doesn't have to always be a trailer. You can flip it around too. And besides that, this was this was the huge player besides the hair jig. The black, blue, green pumpkin bronco bug. Freaking deadly. I don't even think I went through two today. Stayed on here nice. I super glued it on. Deadly. That and the hair jig was a player. I needed that. I needed that big time. Just a good old fashioned whooping, beating on them. Um, I don't know what I ended up with. Let's see if it'll light up. Ended up with 22.95 after basically getting spanked back to back I was like I don't know how to catch a dang bass but um just never give up change lakes change your approach um my approach was a lot different today uh, I keyed in on a variety of things obviously I caught some on deep rock some just off of main lake points with bait all over it others I caught on a, a three foot inside weed edge um others I caught on wood that was up on the bank and I don't know six inches of water caught some on docks I just I didn't really try to force anything today. When they stopped biting, I just moved, changed, grabbed a different bait, moved, changed, grabbed a different bait. I think past couple days, I'd just been trying to force a bite or I had this idea in my head of how I was gonna catch them. And today I went out there and I just, I just listened to the fish and that really helped. So that felt good. September's an awesome time to freaking bass fish, walleye fish, crappie fish, bluegill fish, pike fish, um, everything's biting. These lakes that are a little bit stained are starting to get cleaner and cleaner. Um, at least the lakes around me are still pretty low. We need some rain, but the fish are turning on. They're getting bitey, and it just feels good. Even if you strike out for a couple hours or one day or two days, don't give up. Change lakes, change approaches, and um, yeah, it's the bad days that make the good days so good. So. 
Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I don't know how much I talked, how much I showed you. I was just really head to the floor bassing today. But um, hope everyone's having an awesome September. I guess there's not a lot to be said. Then stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. See you. Oh, my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead.